Hello guys. Happy, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. And Tuesday as follow. Let me watch and be careful the way I sit and lay across my bed as I record this video. Because my boy, boy stopped cap and said that my tre my tete almost came out of there. He said, Anastasia almost seen some of your, uh, my tete. He said, my tete almost came out. Uh, boy, stop capping. It wasn't going to come out. <laughs> if it would have came out, boy, stop capping, honey. Believe me, Anastasia was not going to post that video. <laughs> Good looking out, though, you know, that you, you, you know, seen that uh, uh, they were going to probably fall out. Thank you, you know. But at any rate, uh, thank you so much for uh, sharing the video. I assume you shared the video because you was tickle pink on that video. You was just laughing and laughing. And that just made me feel so good that you enjoyed the video. He said, Anastasia, you was just too much. So let me show you where I was sitting at, uh, Boy Stop Capping, when you <laughs> told me to get away from the window before that lightning come through the window and hit these earrings. The ones I got on right now, and it's cloudy outside as if it's going to rain. The sun keeps phasing in and out. And I was, let me show you where I was sitting at, boy, stop capping. I was sitting here. There's my TV. I was sitting right beside my TV in that chair, right there. And there's the fan. Okay? So anyway, guys. Anyway. Let me wait. Hold on. Let me get a little woosah. Say woosah. Whew. Let me woosah. Whew. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Here we go. Y'all, mm. I was watching Heidi last night. I love her channel. I love her channel. I love her contents. I love her commentary. I think I'm saying that right. She's amazing. I just enjoy her videos. I enjoy her topics. Um, I look at her video, you know, looks at the ones that where you don't see her. You just, she be behind the camera, but, you know, she speaks from behind the camera. But then I actually seen her. Heidi last night. Heidi's a beautiful lady. She's a very beautiful lady. And um, she was talking about my girl, Celise. Celise revealed a video. She was speaking about a video. That's my girl. I love Celise. Shout out to you, Celise. That's my girl right there. Her and Burnett Perkins. Them my girls right there. And, um, and, my, and, and Heidi. I love Heidi. I, I just love Heidi videos point blank, period. Because when she speaks, she speaks so very well. You know what I mean? And so, guys, Celise, eh? Ah, Celise revealed something on that video last night. Hey! Celise revealed something on that video last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you think, when you think, you got a ride or die. When you think, you got a close neighbor. When you think, you got a friend. And each and every time that's supposed to be, supposedly, ride or die. That's supposedly so-called friend. That's so-called acquaintance. That's so-called the person that's supposed to like you. But in all reality, they didn't, they despise everything about you. Why? I don't know. You know, they say jealousy plays a virtue. You know, they say jealousy plays a big part of people being jealous. Well, Anastasia ain't got a damn thing to be jealous about, honey. I ain't got shit to be jealous about. I'm big, okay? I ain't gonna say I'm ugly. I ain't gonna say I'm the, I'm the prettiest thing in, in the world. But uh, I'm comfortable with it within me and myself and I you know what I mean and I have a roof over my head you know what I mean I don't beg borrow or ask anyone for anything whatever I have I make it do what it do whatever I don't have I'll do without it until I get it you get me so Celise was talking about her video last night Heidi pulled up the video. She showed us the video. She let us see the topic, the news report that my girl Celise was speaking about. Now, where I like what Heidi said is that each and every time that Adrian Slave Variety slash Eureka slash Nikki, you know, needed her at any beck and time or beck and call, Heidi was there for her. Even though Heidi and Adrian, always, you know, they had their little argumental thing. 
you know, they didn't get along. Um, they argued, you know, they squashed it. And, you know, and as she said that uh, I didn't call her, I didn't text her, she got in touch with me, you know. Each and every time, I guess, you know, Adrian showed her ass or something, you know, um, on Heidi, you know, Heidi would just, you know, leave a B for a while or so and then turn around, Adrian comes back. You know, um to be you know, her friend and everything. Now, I say that to say and I'm not gonna go all the way back into the all the way back to the beginning of the, the you know, what the girl Celise was speaking about on the video. If you go to her channel you would see um Heidi when she showed, you know, the video. But I say this to say, when you think that you got to call, you, you, when you got to call a, 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 a ride or die, a so-called supposed to be friend, you better think twice. You damn sure better think twice because that supposed to be ride or die friend whom you thought or think is your friend or thought was your friend is the one that's out to get you. Now, just like Heidi said, you know what I mean, when Adrian was going through her situations with her sister, with her situation with, uh, you know, her family members. Who did she call upon? She called upon Heidi. But each and every time you called upon Heidi, Heidi, you know, you know, feel, you know, sorry for you and come back and give you a second and third chance. And then you turn around and then you do some BS again. Then you make Heidi, you know, fall out again with you. Y'all fall out again. And then she just, you know, shuts you down for a little bit because just like Heidi said last night, you know, I'm sort of kind of paraphrasing it. Just like Heidi said last night, you know, I know that Adrian has, you know, men mental issues. I know this. Sorry, Heidi, if I'm saying it wrong, but I'm sort of kind of paraphrasing it a little bit. You know, I know that she has mental issues, you know. So Heidi reaches out to her each and every time. You understand what I'm saying? Like if Adrian go through something, she'll, you know, she'll text her and then she'll turn around, she'll call her and say, you know, sister, I need you. I need you, sister. I need you. You know, but each and every time Heidi was there for her, Adrian would turn around and flip the damn script on her. Do, do I say that's a mental issue? Yes, absolutely. Because one minute you are this person, you know, you, 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 you're Adrian. And then the next minute you are Sharika. Then the next minute you are Nikki. Like she has multiple personalities, multiple personalities. And, you know, that's a serious, that's a serious sickness, you know. But when she said that Celise said something in the video that uh, Adrian say, you know, Heidi wants to be like her. Yo, baby. Baby. My girl Heidi said, I want to be like you. You psychotic mother. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. You okay? Are you all right? Ha. <laughs> How do you say it? Be like you. Oh, be all your jump. What the hell? What? Be like you. Ain't no way in the H E W L L nobody wants to be like that. That's too many personalities and one mind and one head. This lady has so many personalities, so many different personalities in her head. It scares you. It scares you. And you know, when I look at Adrian videos, and now guys, don't get me wrong, because I don't have anything against her, you know what I mean? Because sometimes I think that she comes up on here, and she, you know, literally makes up, you know, stories that's not true. And majority of the time, the stories that she make up are not true, absolutely not, you know? But when she made that statement, when I watched Celise's video, when Heidi showed that video with Celise saying that, uh, Adrian saying that Heidi wants to be like her. Heidi is a beautiful lady. She's a beautiful lady. Adrian is not a bad looking lady. When Heidi said that the girl is built up like a big ass transgender. She looked like a transy. Lord Jesus. I said oh my God. Here we go one more again. Get ready. Get on again. Get on again. They go get it on again. They go start again again. Because she made Heidi mad because. How dare you simply sit there and you make an accusation like that after all that Heidi has took on from you. You know, she took your BS, you know, you did things to her, you you know, you fell out with her and, and then she forgave you and she accepted you, you know, back into, you know, 
into her world, but then you turn around and you do something insignificant again to her once again. You know, but then you make that statement and say that Heidi wants to be like you. I don't think anyone wants to be like anyone. No, no, Adrian, no, no, who's up? Girl, 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 you got too many personalities. One minute you okay, next minute you're ready to take and grip somebody around in the neck. Like you said, you put them in a headlock. Man, when I say she made Heidi upset last night, Heidi start revealing shit. Heidi said, you know what, one more game. You say something one more game. That recorded call, that recorded call, baby, I will expose it. I will expose it. Well, Heidi. Hey, you, you was them damn messages last night, remember? You, you, you exposed them messages last night. Mm -hmm. Heidi said she was trying to be up on her thrust. She said, she said, Adrian once upon a time tried to be up on her thrust. Heidi said, if it was like that, honey, you wasn't my type. You know, she made my girl Heidi mad as fire. On that video last night, honey. And she said, you got one more time. One more time to reveal my name out your mouth. And I will expose this recorded video. Heidi, what you waiting for? Record it, honey. Let us hear it. Because you know, at the end of the day, when she hears that video or see that video, you know how she is, Heidi. She gonna try to come back at you. She gonna try to clap back. You already know this is topics. And I'm gonna tell it. You know she gonna try to come back and she gonna try to clap back, Heidi. You know what I mean? Heidi got it going on. She got brands and everything. Um, I don't know what was those boxes in the back of her. She showed us a box. I think it was a, a little doll baby. Like a little doll or I don't know, perfume or something. But I would love to order some products from her. That's my girl. I like I like Heidi. You know? And I like her intros. They're amazing. You know what I mean? I don't have the equipment to do all that. I just record through my phone. But baby, let me tell you that conversation last night with that video. Baby got real hot. Tough. That video got real hot, honey. She made, she made Heidi try to get her hookah lit back up, honey. She said she want to be like me. Mm. Well, let me tell you about a situation that occurred about, I want to say, 10, 11 years ago. One of my neighbors, you know, she thought that this young lady was her supposed to be bestie friend. And come to find out that that person that she thought was her bestie friend, may God rest her soul, she's, she's deceased now. Not my friend that used to, you know, live here in the village. Um, the one that deceased, that, that passed away. She thought that that was, my, my neighbor thought that that was her bestie friend. They've been friends forever and a day. That's why I do not label people as my girlfriend, my friend. I label them as acquaintance, associates. I could never, uh, I could never label them as a friend because let me tell you something, baby. That friend, that supposed to be a friend that you thought was think with your friend, guys, all my nails broke off. I had to cut them down. I had to start them all over again. That you think it's your friend and you're ride or die. Baby, they be so envious and so jealous of you, honey. They be out to get you and you don't even realize it. And just like Heidi said, she had no inkling that Adrian had said something like that out of her mouth. Because each and every time Adrian would call her when she was going through something or she was down and she was depressed and she stressed, she called Heidi. And Heidi picked up each and every time. But Heidi said, you know what? This bad egg right here, it's a no for me. Heidi said, this is it. Damn it, this is it. Yo, yo really, though? She said, you know, Adrian Slay Variety slash Sharika slash Nikki know that Heidi does not watch her videos like that. So how did you think that she was going to make an accusation like that, Adrian? And you think that someone, even if it wasn't my girl Celise, would have spoke about that video. How did you figure that no one was going to bring that video to Heidi's attention? Now, what you messed up at is that you said that Heidi wants to be like you. Well, Heidi clearly doesn't want to be like you, Adrian. Because no disrespect to you, you know, she says that uh, <laughs> technically speaking, you're built up like a, a man, like a, a, a transy. 
you know, Adrienne is a big girl. She did gain some weight. She loves to eat. And she did put on some weight. You know what I mean? But that right there put the icing on the cake when, when Heidi heard that part and say, Heidi just want to be like me. But yet and still, Adrian was sitting on the video saying, thank you, sis. Thank you for, you know, being there for me. Thank you for riding for me and this, that, and the other. Just like Heidi said, I wasn't riding for you. I wasn't defending in you in no aspect of the way. She said, you got me fucked up. You know what I mean? She done made Heidi hot as fire. Heidi went in on her. Heidi started showing the revealing them damn uh, uh, messages and stuff. And guess what, y'all? She says she got a voice recorded. Conversation. And she said, you got one more time to speak upon my name. Adrian Slay. Variety. Slash Eureka. Slash Nikki. Multiple personalities. Which one was that one? Was that Sharika or was that Nikki? Mm. Mm -hmm. Which one was that? Uh, maybe we need to add another name to it. Because there's like Adrian Slay, Variety, Slash it, Sharika slash Nikki, Slash the mm, Grace. Let's put it like that. You know? And you see, things like that hurt you. When you try to be nice to people and you try to be a ride or die for them, you know what I mean? You try to be there for them in every aspect of the way and you're thinking they're cool and you're thinking, you know, you're cool with them and they're cool with you. You know, you're thinking that you guys are okay. But in the midst of it all, when your back is turned, they can't stand you. They despise you. You know what I mean? They're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They wish they really never knew you. But the only reason why they deal with you because nobody else deal with their bullshit. You get me? And so I think this is the situation that had occurred with Heidi and Adrian. Adrian know that nobody else wants to deal with her multiple personalities. So, you know, Heidi being the person she is, the good Samaritan she is, she reached out and she tried to be there for her. You know what I mean? Each and every time she went through a situation and she wanted to talk, but then but all the time the conversation was about be love, be love family, her family, you know what I mean? She called Heidi. Heidi never turned her down. She's always picked up the phone to answer her. Or she spoke, you know, back in the Texas or whatever. She even conversated with her over the phone. But then when you come up on the camera and you say, thank you, sis, for being there for me. Thank you, sis, for writing for me. You know, but in all, in all, in all reality, I didn't want to be like me. So I kind of paraphrasing it because I can't get the exact words. But I know she's saying that Heidi wants to be like her. Heidi said, and y'all know I don't like that word. But you get me what I'm saying. Be like you. She said, you tall, big, built up, transgender looking. Now, listen, let me tell you something. Now, I don't discriminate. Because I have some friends that are trans. I have some friends that are gay. I have male friends that are gay. And I have lady friends that are gay. And I grew up with them. But Anastasia, let me, let me, let me give you my swearing word. I, I'm, I'm none of the above. I'm nothing of the source. I am a straight lady. But those are my friends. Wait a minute. Take it back. Those are my associates. Those are my associates. And I don't discriminate. And to each his own. To each his own. Whatever your preference is, whatever your, you know, what you want to be and how you grew up and, you know, what your reality of life is, it's on you. You know what I mean? But I would never dis discriminate against the LGBT. And Heidi was not, you know, discriminating against the LGBT. She was just stating her opinion, you know, on her channel because she was very upset because of that damn, me that message. You know, you, you're speaking now, Adrian, you're saying how grateful you are for Heidi being there for you and this is that and the other says but then you turn around and you say but you know in all reality <laughs> you know <laughs> you know Heidi wants to be like me <laughs> no mother flipping way baby you are you she is she and I am I I don't want nobody else's personality. I don't want to be no swing, no kind of way like somebody else because, baby, mm -mm. you know? And so, 
And Yum Yums, I don't know if you are familiar with Heidi's um, channel. Uh, Flauchi, Heidi Flauchi. I might be pronouncing it wrong, but she's awesome, guys. You got to go over and check her channel out. She is awesome. Her intros be off the chain, you know. And then um, Wanda Whitley. I like Wanda Whitley. Wanda Whitley, that's my girl. Wanda Whitley don't sugarcoat a mother flipping thing. She, baby, you get Wanda Whitley started. She, honey, she shall and will reveal you, okay? She done put, <laughs> kicking it with Sin City ass on blast. You know, she done kick, put, walk on blast about her $75. Hey, Walter. Did you get sent? Did you give Wanda Willie her seventy five dollars back? Boy, give that woman her money back. Stop playing. You making all that money on YouTube and you sitting up there looking like a fool and, and, and you only eat a, a little damn little tiny bit and you getting paid all that damn money for to be sitting there looking bored. And then you go into a daze and a stare. And <laughs> uh -huh. that what he do? He go into a damn glare. He go into a stare. <laughs> What the world? <laughs> you know? So, guys, I tell you, my girl, Heidi, Flauche, Heidi, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your, 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 your channel wrong, but honey, baby, she started, honey, she done got Heidi upset with that video last night. Heidi said, I am through. When I say I am totally completely I am through she said her husband told her leave her alone why are you fooling with her leave her alone stop dealing with her but Heidi being the person she is you know what I mean she she was trying to reach out you know trying to be there for her because nobody else was dealing with Adrian BS but then when you do stuff like that and then it gets back to the table and you, you know, you sitting up, you chit chatting with this person, you conversating with this person, you speaking about this and you speaking about that, you know, because you needed me to talk to, you needed someone to talk to, but yet, all the while you're talking to me, you're talking about me as well. So, why was I there? Why was there? Why, why was I there to comfort you, to be there for you, to ride or die for you? Well, not die, but ride for you. Listen to your, your problems and your situation and your troubling mind. But in all of that aspect of that conversation, I was in the midst of that conversation some kind of way. You know they say, he who laughs, laughs, laughs. They say, what's in the dark will come to the light. Seek and you shall find, accident shall be given, knock and the door should open. Mm-hmm. When someone speaks negativity against you to someone else, but yet and still they sit and they grin and they laugh in your face as if they're your best friend, as if, as if you are cool with them. Let me tell you guys about a situation with me. I got into a situation back here, maybe about two weeks, almost two weeks ago, over something that I had no inkling about, nothing that I had nothing absolutely to do with. I was coming from the store minding my own business. And a little situation went down. Okay? And me trying to be the good Samaritan, trying to get this person to their destination, I got my feelings hurt. Not to, by the person that I tried to get to their destination, but to another person who thought that I was wrong because the gentleman was speaking to me, but he was hollering at me, and I was hollering back at him. And then the person said, quote, unquote, that's not what he mean. And I said, quote, unquote, what the f do you mean? So was that so harsh for me to say that? That was wrong for me to say that? A 62-year-old woman, was that wrong for me to speak my mind? So you supposed to stand there and disrespect me and think you can say what you want to say to me? <laughs> BS. It ain't going to happen. So now, the situation has resolved itself as far as me getting the person to their destination. But you wasn't worried about that person getting to their destination. You didn't even give a damn about that person if they got ran over by a damn car or whatever. But I did. I was concerned. I got the person to their destination. I got the person to their home. But did you try to get that person to their home? Hell to the no. You did not. Okay? And it was wrong. It wasn't right. It was wrong. 
Because if a situation would have occurred like that with you, I'm sure we or me or them or they would have made sure that you got to your destination. No ifs, ands, and buts, and no doubt about it. This is how you know people and understand what Anastasia Garadelli World is saying to you. And you know what, Clap, um, stop capping. You are so right when you said three names, Anastasia Garadelli's World. Um, I may take that title off that world. I might leave it as Anastasia Garadelli. Good idea. Thank you. Stop capping. And um, when you think that people are, you know, your associates, your acquaintance, and they're cool with you, and all the while in the back of their mind, and all the time, they can't stand the ground you walk on. Why? Why? They don't have a reason why. But their reason, my reason for them is the reason why they feel as though they don't like you and never did like you. It's because they have insecurity and self-esteem about their self. Low self-esteem about their self. So that insecurity makes them gullible. You know, nasty, negative. Want to speak negativity out of their mouth against you. And you as a person, if you allow it to, 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 to come upon you, and you accept that, then they're going to keep on grinding. They're going to keep on going with it. Quote, unquote, not in this category over here. And I quote and I said my statement, you shall not, you will not, you cannot. And I will not allow you, you, you or anyone else to disrespect me and speak to me in that manner. From this point on, I will not allow no mm, to disrespect me. Because I am a humble person. I'm a quiet person. I'm a private person. And I try to be kind and show courtesy and love and compassion to each and everybody. But when you don't get that back. All you get is negativity, jealousy, hatred and animosity. You got to have your damn guards up. Because if you don't have your guards up. At the end of the day. They will come for you. At the end of the day. They will test you and try you. And that's when the build up comes and you say, oh hell to the mother flipping no. This has gone too far now. And that's what happened. You know, I would be quiet, humble, nonchalant and just keep my mouth closed and won't say anything. But this particular day, oh hell no. Hell no. I was not going to be quiet. I was not going to be humble. I spoke what I spoke. I said what I said. And they didn't like it. It took them totally by a freaking surprise. Like, what? Anastasia talking? Yes, because you went beyond measure. You went too far with your shit. And it had to be told to you. So now, guess what, guys? She doesn't speak. And guess what, guys? And I ain't either. Because at the end of the day, I am not kissing nobody's behind. Okay? What you eat don't make me shiznish. You get me? So if that's the way you feel, and I already knew how you feel. And I already knew how you felt. You never did like me. You never did like me. But now that you in a situation with your other so-called humble friend, you know what I mean? Maybe they're speaking negativity into your mind about me because they don't like me. But then you know what, guys? This, all of this comes down to point blank period they don't like their damn self and that's that is the that, that is what i'm trying to express to you that adrian slay variety slash sharika slash nikki slash decrease she doesn't like herself she needs to get help she needs to get prayed up on she needs to get down on her knees and pray because She's lonely. She's very lonely. And you could see it. She's very lonely. But she tries to cover it up. But it is, it's revealing each day at a time. Each second minute hour of each day. Each month. Each week. Each year. Whatever. However you want to take it. It's revealed. You could see the expression in her face. Because the eyes tell everything. The eyes tell nothing but the purity of the truth from your eyes. And her eyes tell everything. She's lonely. She's hurt. But 
when you bring all of this discrepancy upon yourself and you keep continuously doing it, one minute you're okay with people, next minute you're against people, next minute you want to hurt, harm, and danger people, but then at the end of the day, you said they're against you. But it's not them, it's you, Adrian. It's you, my dear. And that's the point that I'm trying to make is that Heidi said, enough is enough now. You know what I mean? I listen to you. I hear you out. She said, that's why with Adrian, you best to have some receipts. Because you don't know at the end of the day how she's going to come back at you. And that's a true fact. And that's why I do not label myself as having girl friends. Acquaintance. If you want to call it that. Associates. If you want to call it that. Nada. Mean nothing. If you want to call it that. They're absolutely nothing to you. You just, hello, goodbye, good day, and that's it. Heidi says she's tired of it now. She says she's tired of it now. She told her. In that video last night, do not call me. Do not text me. Mm -hmm. Do not call me. Do not text me. Because I'm through with you. This is it. How could you say that about this woman, hi, um, 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 Adrian, who listened to you each and every time you had a situation or a problem? But yet, and you come in and you say, Oh, thank you, sis. We're riding for me. And da -da, this, 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 that, and that, and the other. But in all reality, you know, Heidi want to be like me. Yo, when I said that thing upset Heidi, yo, that thing upset her. She went in. She went in. And she damn sure had the right to do that. Because one minute you say something nice and positive about me, but then you add your little smart little accusation in there and say, you want to be like me. Ain't no way in the hell I want to be like that. That lady just declares some cuckoo, cocoa pop. Anytime somebody put some goddamn and bring me. Anytime, oh Lord Jesus, have mercy. Anytime somebody, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, I'm going to get a headache now. Anytime somebody puts some damn hungry jack, complete buttermilk pancake mix on some damn cramps. Mm. Oh my God. Oh God. And then burn up the shrimps. Hey, Jesus. Ain't batter the shrimps. Ain't do nothing to the shrimp. Just drop them in the damn hungry jack, damn pancake, big, put them in the damn rye bed and burn the motherfuckers up and sit up there and eat them in the camera. Whatever with some mesquite, uh, uh, what, what the damn thing she had with the damn barbecue sauce and the green something and, and, the, and the, the pelote, chipotle shit. Who oh, freaking does that, Jesus? Me beloved, please. Me, me. Oh, Lord, me beloved. Me beloved. Only thing I can say is, mm, something ain't right. Something ain't right. That's all I can say, guys. So on that note, guys, if you should understand this video, if you 